come around Don't you know it's time to raise the sails Hello and welcome everybody, what is going on? So we're here today to do Monster Episode 18 live reaction It's called Five Sugars Sugar Uh, honey, honey Anyway eh. Well, that's kind of a spoiler <laughs> It's not really, it's, it's the end of the last episode them just being in front of the water tower. Um, but yeah, episode 18. Just making sure we're right at the beginning, which we seem to be. We're going to get started in 3, 2, 1. Uh, time to raise a sail. <laughs> That sounds like most of us. Hungry and mo no money. You just gotta pursue. Persevere. Go through it. Look strong and tough. The water tank. Help. Are we sure it's just two? Are we sure it's just two? What should end up being like seven? And the reason why I'm saying seven is because I'm thinking of like the sins, you know, like envy, greed, wrath. Okay, I'm thinking a bit too FMAB here, but I'm thinking seven for a reason, okay? I'm thinking seven because if you have wrath, right? Wrath be. Alright, not usually it's not really wrath. Yeah, no, if I get what I was gonna say. Forget what I was gonna say. I, I was trying to like make the crazy one, well, not the crazy one, but like the influential one, the the one that we've been thinking about the whole time so far. I was trying to you know correlate him to like one of the uh, sins, but that's not really possible. Um, and then like the nice one, I wouldn't know what to correlate him with, so it, it doesn't matter. Forget what I was gonna say. Forget what I was thinking, because quite frankly, I've already forgotten what I was thinking. So let's go. Five sugars. I have no idea what that could be referring to. Yep, sounds like a good excuse. They're calling her Levert, so is that the name that she's actually gonna go with now? There you go. Always have a good background. Loyal. Hey. <laughs> okay. I like it. Loyalty. You know, the thing is, right?
The thing is, right? Actually, I was half expecting Fink to show up here. Uh, uh, Detective Inspector Lung, I was expecting him to show up there. <laughs> like, hi, do you have a moment? <laughs> Why does the food in shows always look so much better than they do in real life? It makes me hungry. Five sugars. There you go. Your sugar daddy. I can't stand coffee at all. All right. Discrimination against all the people that are not beautiful. So this is where she went then. Fair enough. The guy seems like a good person. Now, the thing is, I don't know whether he actually is. I'm being cautious here. Yeah. He's going to come around every day now. He's gonna come around every day and be like, Hey, Anna. <laughs> Look how surprised he is. You shouldn't. Not on your first day. That's how I carry my plates. Especially when I'm cooking for family. That's how I carry my plates. Because I'm, I'm lazy, alright? So I don't want to go out the kitchen and back in. But she does that on the first day for a restaurant. I wouldn't do that. Because then I'd be like, no, no, no. I don't want to. Look at all these people. The most Italian of all foods. Bolognese carbonara. I made cup an hour yesterday, <laughs> funny enough. Told you that I'm gonna come around just to talk to her. Good for business. Nope, not for you. Movie, all right. 
<laughs> he's a softie, all right? He's a good person. Like I said, he's a he, he seemed like a good person. And now he I actually think he's a good person. So yeah, he's a good person in my opinion. Masterpiece Theatre. Such a softy. I don't know, I feel like, I feel like any second now, maybe it's because I'm just conditioned to some, to, to think that, but I feel like any second now, either something's going to happen to him or he's going to do something. But you can't be a bad guy if you cry watching a movie. I feel like that's the, that's the first indicator that you're not a bad person. So I don't think he's a bad person. But even good people can do can can do evil things. Thankful. Is that it? you're not gonna ask? Okay, fair enough. Is that you're gonna ask? Well, not what for? Because you can just go there to practice, but you know. <laughs> yeah, how do you just transition to that? You're not gonna hit with both eyes open. I made that mistake a long time ago. Like I've had one. I've had like, I went to like you know like those fun fairs and carnivals and whatnot, where like you shoot at like moving like you know like I don't know metal rabbits or whatever, uh, and you win like a prize. I remember that very clearly to this day. Like I was shooting and I had like my eyes closed. You know how you usually like have your own eyes closed, and I only realized afterwards I had the wrong eye closed. The eye that I put that I put the gun on, like the eye where I put the you know the it was like a rifle kind of thing, where I put the rifle on was the eye that was closed. Since then, I actually before you take a shot, right? If you if you ever in a carnival like that, 
make sure you're looking up the right eye. <laughs> yeah, like, you know, when I close, I'm like, yeah, I can see, I can see. When in reality, that's how you should be going. <laughs> That's just a warning. Making pasta and spaghetti is hard. I used to be a good cook, not now. But pasta is like the only thing that you don't forget. Softy, <laughs> Mr. Rosso. I cry up a lot. Too. I, I cry a lot when I'm watching certain scenes. But then I, I, I don't cry like that, all right? <laughs> uh, not that hardcore. <laughs> not that hardcore. Treasure your youth. Treasure your youth. And that's why Okay. Uh, see, screwed him. All right. <laughs> I thought he was a good person. Faking me out by crying. Straight to the point. That's how it usually starts. People at a very young age just get recruited and then just can't escape. Yo, this man just pulled out a sniper. I was like, yo, 
as I was saying earlier, just like, yeah, aim down the rectacle. Is that... Is that Lungy? It's not, right? It's a politician or something. Five sugar. And that's where you've got that habit from. Is that it? Is that it? <laughs> is that it? What? What? <laughs> what? Is that it? Hey man, coffee is powerful, all right? <laughs> there you go. Your lecture for today, coffee is powerful. It's living after that, that's difficult. And she's gone. And he's staying behind. This guy showed up out of nowhere in this episode, right? But very important, not just for her character, but also very important just... Uh, I feel like, not okay, not just for her character, but also what like she's gonna do now. Because obviously she was she was hesitating in like the last episode, you know, before shooting the guy with like the that had the lighter and whatnot. And while she looked serious with the intention to kill earlier in the restaurant, she still. Almost like a not. I don't want to say like a mentor because the guy wasn't really a mentor, right? But like she almost needed someone to just uh, someone who's killed people and hurt people before. She needed that kind of guidance. That sounds weird considering she's trying to kill her brother. But you know she needed that kind of guidance almost, and that's what she's kind of getting. Uh, and that's what she that's what she got in this episode. So yeah, she should. I feel like she sh she won't be hesitant from here on out, or it's gonna go to complete one eighty, and she's gonna be she's you know gonna follow the advice that Tenma gave her earlier, which was uh, I won't hurt anyone. It's either gonna be one or the other, and I feel like with her crying at the end, I don't think that she's gonna go the murder route. I don't think that's gonna be her. I don't think she's gonna go that route. I mean. You know, she had her doubts and now I feel like it's almost culminated into just her being like, okay, you know what? You know, she's essentially living for her past. Like, like, everything that she's doing is because of her past, you know? Um, you know, she remembers her brother. She remembers everything right now, right? Uh, and everything that she is doing is because of her past. So, like, she's definitely not a person that can forget the taste of sugar. Because she lives for the past and she you know, makes her decisions based on her past. Um, so, so I definitely don't think she can go down that route. Um, so yeah, that's all. Of, unless she goes down that route and it's going to be, she's going to be, you know, 
is what it won't be easy for her. Let's let me just say it like that. Let me put it like that, right? Well, regardless though, folks, I will see you guys next time. Until then, everyone, peace out and have a nice day. Bye.